Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're joining me for the very first time, my name is Dorsha. I'm a fashion designer out here living in LA, working at Savage X20. If you're not already subscribed, definitely consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button because it is always lit over here. Okay. Join the fam, join the gang, it's always lit. So definitely consider subscribing give this video a thumbs up as it helps with my videos it helps more people see it share my video if you can leave a comment these are all things that help grow my channel and if you guys want to see more content from me interacting with these videos definitely like gives me a little encouragement boost to you know edit and create content for you guys so definitely interact with this video and subscribe if you're not already but um today guys is saturday it's currently 11:49. Um, so yeah, it's currently 11.49. Um, I'm about to head out because I need to pick up a mannequin. Um, I'm actually working on a wedding dress. So I want to pick up the wet, um, the mannequin today with my dress form. I left the dress form that I did have in New York, obviously. I wasn't going to ship that over here. So someone posted one on offer up. So I'm going to go and pick that up for a really good price. So that's what I'm going to do today and then I want to go to the um, fashion district to pick up the actual fabric for the wedding dress. I want to pick up muslin for like the prototype um, draft and then I also want to pick up the lace fabric today. Um, she hasn't confirmed the lace fabric yet so I'm hoping she can do that before I get there because I have a rental for this weekend and it's I don't always have a car so this is the weekend where I really want to pick up everything so hopefully she can make a decision before I go out there but that's on the agenda um, if you guys didn't remember if you guys didn't watch my previous vlog like moving vlog <laughs> um i did get a piercing like my second hole and i ended up taking it out because i didn't like it i got it done at the mall so i actually want to redo my second piercing and actually go to like an actual tattoo or piercing shop so that i can get my second hole and let it be done properly and professionally because i didn't like how it came out the first time so i really want to do that as well today and then maybe go to target because i need a lot of house stuff so this weekend is really going to be filled with a lot of errand running like shopping picking up things like all that stuff i also might go to ikea this weekend as well because i want to get the legs for my couch a lot of you guys have been asking me on my couch review video and in my vlogs when I'm gonna put the legs under my couch, what legs did I use, all the information. So I'm gonna try and get the legs at Ikea this weekend, we'll see, and then hopefully film that for you guys so you guys can see how I do that. Um, Anything else? Oh, I also did my nails myself. I use like the Kiss acrylic set, the one that you get from CVS. I used that and I just glued it. I'll show you guys what products I use to achieve my nails, but I did that today and I really like it. And then I also got some new sneakers, which I also want to show you guys. So, one sec. This is the Kiss acrylic set that I used. I got this from CVS. It was only, I think it was like $10. Um, but obviously you can't see the nails because they're down here, but it comes with this little glue. And it also comes with a file and like the wooden stick. So that's the one that I got. It's called the Kiss Salon Acrylic French. And I got this in the shape square and medium length. So it looks like that, which is quite nice. I like my nails really clean. So I did that myself. But I actually ended up using this glue. I got this glue off of Amazon. I heard really good reviews on this glue. So I used that. Two of them already popped off and I did them yesterday. But I was kind of like doing a lot, so I'm hoping these will at least last for two weeks um, and I'll try to be careful. I also like did a little manicure on myself using this little kit that I also got on Amazon. I got this a while ago, so if I could find it, I'll link it. But um, I'm going to try and do my nails at home just to save some coin and I don't like anything too crazy on my nails. I'm not crazy with the art on my nails, so... Doing something simple like this works perfect for me. So, yeah, and I also, guys, got my hair done yesterday in L.A., my first time getting my hair done in L.A. Um, I went to Long Beach to get it done. The only thing is it's really neat, so I really love how neat and clean 
the braids look but i did get the medium size and i feel like it looks more like a medium like it is quite big like look at the parting so and it was quite pricey like the amount i paid i was looking for it to be smaller and it's bigger than what i wanted so i don't know if i'm gonna go back but guys booking appointments in la zero out of ten do not recommend everything is super pricey especially for black hair it's hard to find like a stylist that does a good job and doesn't charge you an arm and a leg but living cost of living in la is a lot rent is a lot in la so i get it but i don't like it like new york atlanta great market for like appointments in the hair industry and everything like that because there's a lot of competition and competitive prices but out here in la guys it be the struggle but um i think it looks cute i'm hoping it will last me some time because i don't want to have to deal with my hair so anyway that's what i got done yesterday and then lastly before i leave i wanted to show you guys the new sneakers i got i actually just filmed a video on tiktok i got new sneakers and i actually decided to buy these because i saw somebody on tiktok post them and i did like the most impulse buy i was like oh i need that and usually i do reviews especially when i'm spending more than a hundred dollars on something i usually do reviews like when it comes to sneakers i do reviews online but this time i just like bought it and yeah so i got this off of goat it's like the reseller site um because they didn't have this available in my size so i got it from goat and these are the sneakers they are the space hippies um version four and i got this in the light color it's like all white or like it's a little bit of an off-white cream color and then like you see the recycled material it's like 50 percent recycled which is great and then this the lacing is a little bit like asymmetrical so i love these and i think i'm gonna wear these today it has a little thing in the back i love these sneakers at first i thought they were gonna be too big for me because they look big off foot but they actually fit perfect and i'm like obsessed with them i can't wait to wear them i don't want to get them dirty though because they're all white but i love them but anyway yeah so that's what came in yesterday as well so right now like i told you guys i'm gonna go it's a little bit like northern LA, like the outskirts of LA, but north from me. It's about a 20-minute drive. I'm about to go there so I can pick up the mannequin and then hopefully head to the fashion district after. And I'll, of course, take you guys with me. So, yeah. See you guys soon. Hey guys so i just came back from picking up my mannequin it looks so good it's brand new so i'm really happy with it also the lady that i met she works in the industry so she said she's gonna connect me with a designer she knows out here which is great so hopefully i can start making connections out here in la she's moving to greece so she won't be here but anyway it was good to meet her and good that i finally got the dress form i needed because my client didn't pick the fabric she wanted i didn't go to the fa fashion district so right now i'm about to get my ears pierced i'm walking to the spot now and yeah i'll probably film some footage for you guys when i get there but that's what's been going on so far
Hey guys, so I finally made it back home from my outing today. Um, as you guys saw, I got my piercing done today. I absolutely love it. And I also got my dress form. I'm going to show you guys how my dress form looks like. And then I went to Yard House. Um, they had some new drinks and food items on the menu. So if you have a Yard House near you, I definitely highly recommend to try some of their new um, items on the menu. I love Yard House. They have really good food. Um, so I did that today. Um, and to be honest, I kind of am in the mood to go out tonight, but we'll see because I'm really a homebody. So we'll see about that. But right now, I think I'm just going to relax, chill, probably take a nap or watch a show. I don't know which one yet. And yeah, I'm just going to chill really for the rest of the day. I wasn't able to go to LA Fashion District today because my client didn't tell me what fabric I needed in time so I have to coordinate either going tomorrow I don't know if they're open on Sundays or on Monday like before work or something I'm not too sure but she finally picked the fabric but I wasn't able to go so hopefully when I do go I'll take you guys along with me I really wish I was able to do it today but things happen but anyway let me show you guys the mannequin okay guys so this is how my dress form is looking like please excuse my living area it is a bit of a mess at the moment but this is how my dress form is looking i love her she's br practically brand new these little arm um joints can be removed um it can go up and down it is a little weird like wonky like i can't pull it from the top or it'll like lift so i have to kind of figure out kind of maybe how to like tighten it so that every time i lift it like the whole thing doesn't move but it's in a really good shape this is a size six but it looks like a size four it doesn't look like a st standard size six which i wish it was a little bit larger she barely has a bum either but it's gonna do what i need it to do for the time being so yeah i'm really happy with that because it was a really good price for like basically practically brand new the lady who sold this to me she's moving to germany so she's getting rid of some of her stuff and yeah i'm just really happy to have this mannequin excited to start on some designs that is basically what i did today um tomorrow is definitely going to be more filled with errand running because i have a lot of things to do um but yeah i'm so happy with how my new piercing looks like it looks so good good i'm so happy with it so much happier with how this one looks than the other one i like how closer it is i did want it a little bit closer but she did warn me that it just wasn't gonna look right and she was actually right because i feel like this placement is absolutely perfect so i'm really happy with that also two people complimented me on my braids so i guess it's not as bad as i was making it out to be but yeah but anyway guys i'm gonna just unwind and just kind of decompress if i do go out tonight obviously i'm gonna take you guys and yeah it'll be like my first like night out in la um the wahala boys do afro beats if you guys don't know about them on instagram wahala boys i'm obsessed with afro beats love afro beats so i would love to go to one of their parties i've always wanted to go to one of their parties even when i was living in new york and they do a lot of those parties out here in la so hopefully i can go out tonight that'll be cool but like i said i'm very much a homebody so even if i have the mentality of going out when the time comes for me to actually go out i don't want to go out no more um, but i think that will be in west hollywood i believe so we shall see later in the night how your girl is feeling but yeah i'll um catch up with you guys later Down, I gotta say, 
I'm digging your vibe Your vibe, your vibe And something is the fact You're switching up again I don't know what's your move Tell me baby what to do Good afternoon. Today is Sunday um, and it's approximately 12.52 or exactly 12.52. Um, as you guys saw, I did clean up my living area, my kitchen. It was well needed. I have to also clean my room and the bathroom, but I'll be doing that later when I get back because I have a lot of errands to run. Um, so yeah, I just cleaned up a little bit this morning and now I'm about to head to the fashion district to get the fabric like I told you guys I was supposed to do that yesterday. Sorry if you guys hear that noise, that's my dishwasher. But um, yeah, that's my dishwasher going, sorry about that guys. But yeah, I'm gonna go to the fashion district today so that I can pick up some the fabric that I need for my client. I wanted to go yesterday but I wasn't able to but I did see that the store is open today. So I'm surprised they're open on Sunday because in New York, the Garment District would not be open on a Sunday, but they are open on Sundays here. So I'm going to go pick up some fabric. I'll take you guys with me as I go there. Um, and then I have errands to run. I have returns to do at CB2. I'm excited to see the actual CB2 store because I've never been inside a CB2 or Crate and Barrel store, store. So I'm excited to go there. So I'm gonna do some returns at Crate and Barrel. I need to get some stuff at Target. And then I think I need to do a little bit of grocery shopping, but I have no idea what kind of groceries I need. And I just feel a little like all over the place for the day, but hopefully I can get it together and get everything I need when I can for this weekend. So yeah, I'm gonna do that today. I'll take you guys along with me where I go. So because I'm trying to get this day moving, I'll see you guys at the fashion district. I just wanted to come and do a quick outfit of the day. My space hippies. I love these sneakers. I have that on today. I have these cargo pants from Meniere Duvoir. I got a few years ago, I think. Um, and then I have this trap sole crew neck from Bryson Tiller. And my Telfizi. That's my little OTTD. underneath this top fabric making it like poof Open. out more yeah. yeah and give it the body it needs so that means I don't have to line the skirt because this already has a lining <laughs>
frozen margarita. It's strawberry frozen margarita and it comes in a pineapple, which is so cute. With a little umbrella. And then, um, I forgot what drink this is. But it comes with a shot. So as you guys saw, we're at Pink Taco. Um, I've heard of this restaurant before, actually. Gotta be honest. So I just got the carne asada taco, so I'll show you guys that when it comes here. Sorry if it's so loud, we're like literally right next to the street. This is really good. So when the food comes, I'll um, show you guys how that's looking. This is the rice and beans, this is pinto beans, and this is the carne asada tacos. This is chicken quesadilla with guac and sour cream, rice, and then this is the pink taco, chicken taco. Hey guys, so I just left pink tacos. The food was okay. I would give it an 8 out of 10. Um, like I told you guys, I got the carne asada tacos with rice and beans. I had a shot and then I also had like the strawberry frozen drink that I showed you guys. The drinks were not strong. I will say that. It's not really strong. You probably need a shot if you're trying to get, you know, a little lit. But that's the only one thing I will say. Like we went during happy hour, but I don't think their drinks are that strong. But anyway, now we're going to head to Costco's because I need to get like some... I need to get some groceries and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to go to Costco's to get some things. I was going to go to Ralph's, but I'm probably going to go to Costco's and then after go to Target. So I'll take you guys along with me when I get there. from my full day of running errands um, and all of that jazz. Um, yeah, I just made it home. It's now 8.04, so it's really late. I have work tomorrow, so I'm just gonna try and like show you guys what I picked up today and maybe make dinner. I'm not really hungry, but I might make dinner. I really wanna clean my bathroom. Like I told you guys earlier, I really wanted to clean my bathroom, so I'm hoping I can do that tonight. And um, I have to edit a video to upload as well for tomorrow because it's too late to upload tonight. So there's a lot of things going on, but I want to show you guys what I got. Um, but basically today, all I did was um, go to the fashion district, which was great because I got most of the things I wanted. The store I did want to go to to get the lace was closed. So I have to coordinate as to when I can pick that up. But everything else I got, so I feel like I'm pretty good with starting the dress because I got like the muslin I needed, the zipper, the um, the cups, and I got a petticoat to put underneath since it's a mermaid dress. So I got all that stuff. So I feel good about that. Afterwards, um, I went to CB2. I picked up some stuff. I'll show you guys what I got from CB2. I actually had to make a return and I ended up doing an exchange because I found something else that I really wanted from there. And then um, I went to Pink Taco, which was really good. Earlier I told you guys that the drinks weren't really hitting. They did hit later, they kicked in later. So definitely good for the drinks, good for the food. Definitely would recommend um, checking out Pink Taco if you're in LA. Then afterwards I went to Costco where I got a ton of like food in bulk and stuff so I don't have to keep making trips to the grocery store. So I'll show you guys what I picked up from Costco. And then finally I went to Target and picked up a little bit of stuff as well. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. But first I'm gonna open this package that I got from Amazon. I already know what this is. I actually, like this is another impulse buy that I um, recently did. Aaliyah's face actually posted this on her Instagram and I was like, I need this. Like I need this. Um, it's actually a water bottle. You guys, I'm sure, have seen the frosted water bottles with, like, the timestamps. Well, she just recently posted one on Amazon that's a glass bottle. And it has the timestamps as well on this one. Um, yeah, it has the timestamps on here. And then it has, like, a wooden top, which is so... Uh, 
it's just so aesthetically pleasing it's such a great quality it's heavy i really really like this bottle so so much and i've been going to the gym i haven't gone in a week but i've been going to the gym so i'm definitely going to use this when i go to the gym um you could put like fruits in here you could do whatever really um so i'm really happy to have this because it looks really really pretty and actually comes with a nice little bottle holder so perfect like I said going to the gym you can just like hold it in there and it has a holder if you're going hiking or whatever you can clip it to your bag like I just thought this was really really nice I, I got that from Amazon and then I'll show you guys what I picked up from CB2 um, I showed you guys a little bit of the store when I went it was really nice. I think in a previous vlog I showed you guys my order that I placed online from CB2. So I got these two mugs and they were entirely way too small so I actually ended up exchanging them. And then I also picked up these two cups which I was about to exchange but I decided to keep them. Um, Cause they're just such a nice shape so I decided to keep these ones. So these are like, I guess you could use these for wine, you could use them for juice, but I thought they were a really nice shape so I did decide to keep those. And instead I picked up these two glasses which are so cute. They're these two little cocktail glasses which I think are so adorable. So I'm glad to add these to my glass collection because I have quite a few wine glasses and champagne glasses. So I'm just happy to add these to like my glassware. These are so nice. I can't wait to make like nice little cocktails. Um, I did show you guys I think in my moving vlog. I showed you this book that I got, How To Cocktail. I got this from Barnes & Noble. So um, this cup actually, this glass actually kind of looks like the one I have. So I really want to like work and make some recipes from this book and, you know, try some new drinks. And having the right glassware just makes everything kind of come together better. So I'm excited to use those. Then I also picked up some stuff from Target. I got some tissues it's like a four pack of tissue i got some simply lemonade also got the orange juice the simply orange and then i got some more tide pods i'm running low so i picked up some more tide pods this is the one with febreze four and one i got more dryer sheets and then i also picked up this exfoliating body polish this is the pomegranate seeds and shea butter from dove I saw this on TikTok, so I really want to try it. It smells so good. It smells really, really good. And I love, like, these type of things for, like, a bath and, like, my nighttime routine. So I'm really excited to use this because everybody's been, like, raving about it on TikTok. So I'm excited to try this. And then lastly, like I told you guys, I picked up some of these plugins. I needed more since I ran out of the two that I had. So I got more of that. So I'm excited to have my house smelling really good again. Um, and lastly, I went to Costco. I didn't get anything exciting but food. I picked up some Hawaiian rolls. There's also a dish on TikTok um, with the meatballs that I think I want to try with these Hawaiian rolls. But I picked up two packs of those. I also picked up some more eggs for my breakfast. And I picked up four packs of ground turkey this is a lot of ground turkey but i do make a lot of tacos and sometimes i'll make like spaghetti bolognese or something with a meat sauce so i picked up four of those i'm just gonna freeze them and use them as i need it and it was like i think much cheaper than buying them individually at like ralph's or something and then i also picked up a bunch of party wings this is like six packs of party wings mm, yeah it's a lot so i'm just gonna freeze freeze it and use it as I go. And I also got some granola. It's called Ancient Grains. It's a probiotic granola and it has wheat, spelt almonds, quinoa, and amaranth. So I hope I like this just as much as I like my regular granola that I typically get at Ralph's because um, I'm kind of particular. So hopefully this one tastes just as good. And then I got a whole bunch of onions. This is a ton of onions, but again, I cook a lot with onions, so instead of having to go to the grocery store all the time, I'm just going to continue to use these. I don't know how many are in here, but it's a ton, so it's going to keep me for a while. I also got some organic baby Bella mushrooms, probably to make with like my spaghetti and like 
meat sauce or even with my uh, like Rasta pasta, pasta Alfredo, that kind of stuff. I got that. And then I also got the Q pie mayonnaise. I heard so much about this like on TikTok and stuff for like Asian inspired meals. I usually use my sriracha mayo, but I heard really good things about Q pie mayonnaise. It only came in a pack of two. I wanted to just try it out. Picked up that. I also got some organic protein. This is plant-based protein to put in like smoothies after the gym, after working out for the morning time. So protein powder can be hit or miss. So hopefully this tastes good. I got the vanilla um, flavor. So I also picked that up. Um, and then I picked up some more fabric beads. I think this is the first time I'm trying out the downy um, like beads so hopefully these smell good and work fine just like the um, normal brand I typically pick up. I also picked up some heavy whipping cream to put in my pastas. I got some more Dove soap. You can never have enough soap. <laughs> and I picked up a five pack of Clorox wipes. Um, I ran out so obviously like I said just great to have in stock whenever I run out. And the last thing I got was some spinach, obviously to put in my meals, to put in my smoothies. So yeah, that is everything that I basically got today from the shops. I'm gonna put all of this away. And like I said, decompress a little bit, probably do some cleaning in the bathroom and just kind of get my life settled and together before I have work tomorrow. I just want to Thank you guys for tuning in to another Dorshell's Diary, another weekly vlog with me. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends. Um, it definitely helps with growing my channel when you guys engage with me. Definitely leave a comment for me below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next one.